You know, I gotta admit, we have been getting a lot more representation from the robot right line from the blanket a lot recently with things like Avantgarde, Ostrom, and then with the brand new right line, Rotoviser. But there is something I don't understand oh, that Bushiro has been consistently doing it to these right lines. Having them go full power on turn 4 is fine, but for some reason why they have to introduce quite a fundamental flaw to each of these right lines. Stop it! Get some help. Avantgarde has to hit the Vanguard to actually get a restand if you're not Bessana riding. Astrum is a counter blast galore, even harder than Baro Magnus. And then we have Protoviser, which has kind of a mix between the two problems that the aforementioned right line has, but does have a solution to it, even if it is slightly clumsy. I mean, it is Nova Grappler representation after all. And if you say I'm coping with this, watch until the end of this video and you'll get why I'm saying that later. But before before anything else, damn Rotoviser looks go. fucking cool. Let's start off with the right line and the inspiration is very clear where they are from. It is from the 30 minute mission of course, which did get an armor called collab nice. very recently. So yeah, you can clearly see the inspiration in this right line and not only that, they actually represent all three, I would say few that normally this mecha anime is held in and that is of course land, sea and space. But does this skill kind of represent that well with the way they look? Kind of actually. As we starting off with the land, Eldia Rotoviser, the Great One. This unit has only two skill and those skill are when ridden upon by Great 2 Rotoviser, you can search your deck for up to one arena card and then add it to your hand. So your typical set order searcher in any bracket right line. And he has a second skill where he give additional 5k if another unit in the same column at this unit stand by a card effects. I have to say, despite the fact that it is impossible to superior call this from Soul, it is a really good card. Especially in earlier part of the game, as you're giving power to a unit in the same column rather than himself means that it can take advantage of what the Great 3 Rotoviser can actually do, which is a really good thing. I can't say the same to a marine version of Rotoviser though, and that is Wasa Rotoviser. <laughs> This unit also have two skill, one of which is an on right effect, as if you write a grade 3 or greater Rotoviser unit, you can look at top 7 card of your deck, either add a grade 3 or greater Rotoviser, or an arena card, review it, and shuffle your deck. If you fail to do so, you can super call this unit from Soul to Rekha Circle. And the second skill kind of correlate to the Rekha skill, as it is a 15k on attack unit, provided your vanguard is Rotoviser. My disappointment is immeasurable. I will say this now, this is not a good effect. I feel the second skill could have been increment until end of turn rather than for the battle because even with that adjustment to the skill, it wouldn't really make the card even more runnable. This is a backup regard if the deck RNG decided to screw you up. So I feel like the consolidation price should have been a little bit more appealing. But is it worth the way to ride into the grade 3? Well, kind of yes and no as you're moving right into the space with Grand Cell Rotoviser. This unit has two skill where his first skill is a constant. If you have three or more arena on your order zone, your entire front row plus 5k. Pretty good effects, but you might notice something interesting here. But before that, let's talk about the second effect. As at the end of the battle this unit attack, you may counter blast 2, draw a card, choose any number of your regard equal to the number of arena card you have on your order zone, stand them, and if you choose Mitsushite or more by this effect, all those need get additional 5k until the end of turn. Let's talk about good part about this card first. Giving a draw is always nice. Ability to stand multiple units within one instances is really, really strong. But you might see a problem with this deck immediately. And I feel this problem of Rotoviser is a very similar problem we have seen before with multiple right lines in Branket. And that is the fact that the deck needs you to play multiple set order to be in the order zone for the deck to get to the full power. For those who forget, Eva, Zedland's hero used to fall under this category. And now that we have seen more than three cases of this particular syndrome, I think it deserves a name. Eva syndrome. Eva syndrome. A symptom where a set order focus deck needs three or more set orders on the order zone to be at full power. And I feel the fact that Grand Cell has a full-on Eva syndrome harder than on launch. Eva herself really is not good because most of his effects really go full online the moment you have three or more arena card in your order zone. I'm not saying arena is a bad card per se, but I feel the fact that they decided to artificially hold it back the full power of the deck by putting the order to be hard to play is not good at all. 
I'm fully aware it's good for implementing a future support that actually helps the deck, but the problem is that some of them are getting much much earlier when it comes to the fixing, and some get the exact support that they need in a much much later part of their cycle. Overall, I would just say this, the effect is good, it's just way too slow right now, and I hope we should really bring a proper support for this unit later on. And before we get into additional support, let's talk about something that I have mentioned a few times in the video so far, but haven't really go into deep details and that is the unique set order that comes with this right line arena. And currently there's only one type of arena available for Rotoweiser and that is Noah Grapple Arena Urban City. Sounds like a game that just died like a few months ago. But what does it do? Well essentially these orders can raise itself when your unit attacks if you have Rotoweiser Vanguard and you haven't raised an arena card this battle. And if you do so, choose one of the attacking unit and they get ability when when that unit attack hits, you either counter charge 1 or energy charge 2. This is actually quite a good ability, especially if you can use it as early as turn 2, regardless of you going first or second. This is especially useful if you're going first because this allows you to actually have 8 energy by turn 3, allowing you to get additional draw if needed to if your hand is missing some cards. And the consistent counter shot really helps to cover the counter blast 2 that Grandso has, which is in my honest opinion, a little bit unnecessary, but I can see they are trying to counterbalance gun sale costs with this particular card. And I'll say this now, if you have one of them, it's not much. But the moment you have four of them on your order zone, it is really, really good. Because you essentially have four attacks that has a potential to either counter charge or inner charge, which is a really, really good thing. And then we move on to the last card that was revealed for Rotoweiser, and that's the support, which for some reason is a female android, which should have been a lot smaller than the whole right line. Compassionate mechanic has only two skill, and that is it gain additional 5k if you have two or more arena cards on your field, kind of invalidate Vasa immediately. And then once per turn, at the end of the battle, this unit attack. If your vanguard is grade 3 or greater, and arena in your order zone is rested this battle, energy blast 3, you draw a card, and choose one of your other unit. that unit get 5k until the end of turn. This skill is not bad, but I feel its timing is a little bit iffy, and can get a bit of time to get used to, because not a lot they can really play this kind of skill. But I do have to say this card does have an issue as well, and that is the fact that you are forced to play an arena, you with this card. So if you choose not to play with this card, this skill will not trigger. But regardless, getting an EB3 draw for any deck is always a good thing. And that is pretty much to talk about what Rotoweiser has received so far. Okay, so we did get one more Rotoweiser support ever since the recording, and that is Cautious Supporter. And this card is not bad. I mean, it helps you to fetch Arena from your drop and face up in your damage stone. It's a nice card to have, but I don't think it fixed the problem that plaguing the deck right now. Now let's talk about what makes the deck good and what makes the deck bad. Well, let's start off with the very obvious. It is being a Nova Grappler deck, it is gonna do a lot of chunky multi-attack thanks to Grand Cell skill. Even if it is slow, it is still a really scary number to hit regardless, especially if you try to combine Grand Cell skill with cards like Aben Robust or Combine Rusher, who already gain a good chunk amount of power on their own. Secondly, the deck is actually quite counter blast, energy, and to an extent so positive as well because not a lot of cards in this deck do you so. But that is all the good part about this deck ends because it has a lot of other issues. For one, a lot of their skill that really helps them is locked behind either a, on his effects or some kind of awkward activation cost that may mess with your tempo if you're not being careful. And secondly, this is a deck that has Eva Syndrome, so the fact that it is turn 4 base deck on launch is not a good thing. And last but not least for me, the deck doesn't filter. If the deck filter and have the cost like Grand Soul, I wouldn't be mad about it. But the fact that it requires cards like Habitable Zone, Boundary, and Aben to actually make the deck function just well enough is not a good look for me. The deck has a potential to be a really scary deck, but right now they are imposing way too much restriction 
option on this deck right now to make it even playable in the current format. And that's Rotowizer for now. It's a really cool red line artistically, but it is not really fun to play right now due to so many restrictions being imposed upon the deck itself. And I hope they don't do the same with Daisha, who is also a robot right line. But what do you guys think? Do leave down the comments below on what you think about Rotowizer. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Take care of yourself. And this is Mac Mechanic signing out. Let's go, let's go, let's go.